So, I want to thank y'all so, so much for, for <laughs> not me stumbling on my words already. <laughs> ah, okay, all right, all right. First of all, I want to thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. I want to thank everyone for supporting me. We are almost at 500 subscribers, so continue helping your girl get to 500, okay? So if you are not subscribed already, be sure you are clicking subscribe, okay? And if you're having a bit of trouble with that, you already know the drill by now. Make sure you're clicking that pink crayon that is in the bottom corner so you can be subscribing, okay? And also, don't forget to like this video and comment as well if it resonates with you. You don't even have to procrastinate when it comes to per I was about to say prescribing. You don't even have to procrastinate when it comes down to subscribing, okay? Because guess what? You're going to love it here. But let's just get into it. Today, I want to talk about... What was I about to say? Okay, so today, I want to talk about how sometimes we overlook everything that we are doing in the now. Sometimes we are so focused on our future. We're so focused on where it is that we want to be. Or even sometimes we're so focused on the past that we overlook everything we are doing right now. If we made mistakes in our past, it's like we're so focused on that that we don't even pay attention to the steps we are taking right now to clean up the mistakes we made in our past. Sometimes if we're so focused on our future, we... We don't even pay attention to the steps we are taking right now to get to where we want to be at in the future. And overlooking what you're doing right now is bad because it can make you depressed. It can make you discouraged. It can make you feel like you're not doing enough. It can cause you to start comparing yourself to others, to other people who are already in a position that you are at right now. It can cause you to compare yourself to other people your age who may be doing something, you know, different or what may seem to be bigger than what it is that you're doing right now that's why it's so important to stop overlooking what you are doing now pretty much all of us have you know some sort of goal that we want to have in the future as long as we are you know trying our best in the now that's all that matters we have to see it as every step we're taking right now is leading up to that big thing that we want in the future you just have to try you just have to try and you just have to give it your best and sometimes when we don't see results right off the right off the bat or things are not happening as fast as we thought it would happen sometimes that can cause us to get discouraged sometimes that can cause us to feel like the steps we are taking right now is not working out because we haven't gotten that outcome yet that we're waiting on and I'm, you know, here today to tell y'all to, you know, not be discouraged. Just keep going, keep going. And the reason why this topic came to me is because I, you know, didn't really realize that. And, and the thing is, I get in this mood, like, okay. Every now and then, I'll kind of get in this mood where I overlook everything that I'm doing right now. And so it's crazy because it took uh, someone who don't even know me like that. It took them to sit there and point out everything that I'm doing right now that's leading up to my future. And so basically it was something that I needed advice on, you know, concerning my future. I was talking to the woman, she was basically mentioning to me, you know, the things that I have up underneath my belt right now. And, you know, she was just basically encouraging me, telling me that my future is bright and that, you know, if it looks like I'm on the right direction and that if I just keep going, you know, there's no doubt that I'll, you know, get to where it is that I want to be at in life. And, you know, after I finished that conversation with her, I said to myself, like, dang, like, dang, Tanala, you really been overlooking everything that you're doing right now. Like, look at the position that you are in. Like, look at the things that you are accomplishing. Things, you know, back then, like, it'll be certain goals I made back then, and I'll be like, oh, one day I want to do this. And it's like, I'm doing it now. And just because I haven't seen this full big picture, just because I haven't seen this big outcome, I tend to overlook all of the steps that I am taking to get to where it is I want to get to. And I know that a lot of you may do that. And, you know, I'm here to tell you to stop. Okay? Stop. 
I want to encourage y'all today to, you know, take a step back and look at what's in your hands. Even if you feel like you have not accomplished much yet, you know, start, okay? That big goal, that big plan that you have in your mind, just start it. And once you start it, that's already a step. Like, just pause and take a look at what's in your hands right now. Take a look at what's in your hands right now. And, you know, it's important to, you know, do that and do it consistently. Because like I said, I didn't even, you know, every now and then I get in a mood when I'm like, dang, like I'm not doing enough. And, you know, it that's why it takes consistency. Everything that I talk about on my channel, all of the ways that you can, you know, grow, it takes you doing it consistently. And honestly, you know, that's one of the biggest steps ever starting and you know it sucks that we don't always realize i'm sorry y'all okay i got cough track it's sad that we don't always realize that starting is the biggest step and i say that starting is the biggest step because just think about all the times you know in the past where you constantly you know thought about doing something when you constantly visualize yourself doing something all the times when you constantly say oh my gosh like i really want to do that or oh i see them doing that like that's amazing i really want to try that think about all the times because a lot of times we don't just start something out of blue we think about it a little bit first okay and most of us we think about it a lot of bit we think about it a lot okay before we actually start something so just think about all the times when you've thought to yourself over and over like oh my gosh like i really want to start this and you know you've said something to hold yourself back others around you may have said something to hold yourself back you discourage yourself you may have been in your mind too much you may have said oh well, what if this what if that all of those things and you overcame those obstacles you didn't worry about what anyone else had to say or you you know didn't let discouragement you discouraging yourself you didn't let that stop you you pushed through and you started it anyway just think about how tough that is to just start like that's one of the biggest steps now your job is to finish it and now your job is to continue going at it continue being consistent stop being too focused on the outcome look at what's in your hands right now think about all the steps and all the things you are taking right now to get to where it is that you want to be like that's so important if you feel like you haven't taken enough steps then okay look around and see what else could you possibly be doing right now and if it's not much that you can do right now to get to where you want to be then guess what that's fine but stop holding yourself back stop holding yourself up because a lot of times we say oh i'm not going to start something because i'm waiting on this or i'm waiting on that i gotta wait till this. like stop it and a lot of times too we start something but we say oh we can't keep going at it because of this and that Stop feeding yourself excuses. A lot of times we feed ourselves excuses because we are in fear. You know, push through that fear. Just like the same fear you push through when you started it. If you, you know, if you are the type of person who has already started doing something, you like tackle it, tackle that fear. Cause if not, you're gonna continue being in that same place, dreaming and thinking about all the things that you wanna do in life. Just go at it and pay attention to what's in your hands. So I thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. I hope this video encouraged you. If so, please leave a comment down below. I do not bite, okay? Some of y'all be afraid to leave comments. Sweet, I don't bite at all and I respond to all comments, okay? So make sure you comment down below if this video resonated with you. Share this video to anyone who needs encouragement. Also, give this video a thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to do that and be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 500, okay? Okay, I love y'all so, so much. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.